a Lima, also uh, previously known as Sandic, yes, has been providing more at me for I don't know fifty years, maybe more, still. For I can't many say years, for sure, many but years. probably yeah, many, more many years. than that. Yeah. Most manufacturers of stainless steel are using a scrap-based metallurgy. That's, that's the common method to, to manufacture stainless yes. steels today. Uh, but then you always have to add, you cannot only use um, scrap huh. or recycled raw material that sounds perhaps a little bit better than scrap. But, but um, uh, to get the right chemical composition, on this new heat that you are making, you always have to to add some extra alloying elements, basically. Um, so it's not 100% recycled, but we are working very hard to increase this amount to use as much recycled part of, of the steel as possible. I've read in some documentation around 70%, no? 83%, 80, 83 actually, okay. nowadays. Okay. But we have worked hard for that. So you need to sort the scrap really carefully to be able to have such a high rate. Uh, and there it also comes in that we start to, to buy back scrap from our customers. Yeah. I mean, they get a lot of access See, material yes, of for course. instance knife industry they get uh, take out their blank and get yeah. a lot of scrap or raw material for recycling uh, so we have a lot of work in progress uh, in that kind of business to buy back material that we know the exact chemical composition of then we don't have to add so much extra then we already know what we have we can just add energy to it electricity to to remelt it and uh, and then and you get uh, a more refined steel at the end with less impurities, no? Uh, not really, but we get the right chemical composition well, with as um, little effect on the environment yeah. as possible, because it's always a better, a more sustainable solution to just melt yeah, steel I mean, with the right chemical composition without having to add something that is made from virgin alloys that takes a lot of energy to be produced yeah because our biggest scope three emissions comes from the raw materials that we have to buy so the less of them we can use the better it is for the environment just can you just simplify a bit and explain how do you start from raw material or from to uh, a finished product that you deliver to uh, to, to Moret Neve so they can make new knives? Can you just simplify it just for... That's your area of experience. <laughs> 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 Haven't you just explained? <laughs> um, no, I mean, Alema is uh, a fully integrated steel manufacturer. Uh, so we control the full chain of the production of, of new melts new materials right. and uh, so we start with actually what you could call scrap or that doesn't sound so good so, yeah, so yeah. We can, but we we start with recycle re yeah we recycle scrap material yeah. and that can be both internally uh, that falls off in our core production but also that we buy in material from commercial scrap handlers but of course, towards a very yeah tough specification, we check everything carefully, the chemical composition and so on, and sort it very carefully. So um, when we will make a new melt uh, or some steel grade, we, we choose the optimum combination of the scrap that we have, and then of course in the we first melt it, just put a, put in a lot of energy to melt it. Bioelectric card, no. Exactly, okay. electric okay. furnace. And then we start with, uh, we do refining, uh, remove uh, impurities. Uh, we, uh, yeah, make sure that carbon content is right and so on. And if necessary, we have to add some virgin alloys to, to get the exact, exact right composition. 
But that is what we try to minimize by using very well sorted uh, scrap to start with. Uh, then we also have the, yeah, we have the costing, we have the full process with metal uh, hot working and so on. Uh, going further down into cold rolling and annealing and slitting and all the different processes to, to manufacture a, a strip material that we then uh, supply to, for instance, Morak Leaf uh, in cold roll condition. Uh, and they take over then and uh, make manufacturers and knives and they are the ones that are doing the heat treatment, the hardening and tempering to to set the right hardness. They decide the properties of the knife, so to say. And then the Very cycle brief. restarts again. <laughs> all the and left then it overs. can start over, yeah. all of, over again. In recent years, in recent months, there has been a lot of controversy about the term recycle and steel. Many people in the internet, the internet is full of beautiful people, say, oh no, uh, recycle stainless steel is just pots and pans and post fences all mixed together. Um, what do you say about that? What do you have to say about that? We've always used recycled steel. This is nothing new. It's the same way we've produced our steel for over a hundred years. We started making stainless steel in 1921. So, uh, and uh, I don't, were we scrap based already? And you know that better. Yeah, we've been scrap based for over a hundred years. So it's nothing new. The material no. hasn't changed. It's just that uh, Moreknev is proud to say that our steel is recycled because that's a uh, win for the environment. Yes. Mm. Yeah, completely agree. Completely agree. So, and just to clarify, the 12C27 and the 14C28N is just made by Alina. Something. Yeah, that's so. Hard. If we see another brand, a knife brand, saying they use this type of steels, they are also using recycle Swedish recycle stainless steel. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. You would agree with 